here we are at the Pine Valley Chapel. We got mom inside off the motorhome, but it was a little bit of a chore to get her inside. But once we did, she's sitting down and relaxing in there. She's not really up for a tour, so I'm just going to kind of walk through myself. It's okay, we just wanted to peek in. Thank okay. you. Yeah, appreciate it though. All righty. Mom's over here. Anyway, so they allowed over the. What are you reading there, Mom? A book on Pine Valley? So, this is the downstairs. But anyway, they. Uh, did that for a couple of years and said, oh, all right, you guys can farm up there. So then they got heavy into farming. The branch members do tours down here now. And then near here, up in Grass Valley, you probably saw the sign, there's big farm and grazing up there. Big, big, We snuck past him and we're going to go upstairs. Go upstairs. Here we are in the Pine Valley Chapel. This is the way I remember it. We go down the steps over here. I think they've done some remodeling of the chapel in the last several years. He says on holiday weekends they'll get up to 700 people. Fills the downstairs and the two or 300 outside that watch on TV monitors. But it's a year-round branch now and they get at least 100 people typically every week. Upstairs for a second. They have a branch that meets year round, has about a hundred members. This goes upstairs. And they just have another classroom up here. Some of the People that have been members and presidents. Wonder if we can find Glenn Snow on here anywhere. There's Erastus Snow Gardener. There we go. There's Glenn E. Snow, presiding Elder Glenn E. Snow. Looks like he was chosen presiding elder in 1967. And there's, there's Uncle Dean who was the bishop, it looks like, in 1948. Very interesting. Back down the stairs. What's that? There's just a little Sunday school room with a bunch of pictures of all the former um, branch 
presidents and bishops and stuff. One up there, my mom's dad's on the wall up there. Oh yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> From, he was the, the, what they called the presiding elder back then in the, I think it was the 50s or the 60s. Wow. Maybe before that, I'm not sure. This is the stage and overflow. I'm gonna head back down. Down the stairs. Here we are again, back in the downstairs. Mom, you doing okay over there? Yes. I just did a little tour of the building, found a picture of your dad upstairs, and of Uncle Dean. Yes, Dad was president for a while. Yeah. Yeah, found anything interesting in that book? Just nice to look at some of those pictures of the people in the church. Yes. I'm going to take a quick video outside, and then I'm going to end the video on the church, okay? okay. Let's walk back outside. they got a little sign out here that's kind of cool. has some of the history stuff on it. doesn't have that much on it. thought it had more than this. Can't really see it very well. Oh, maybe I, this is what I'm thinking of. Talks about the logs for the chapel and the wood for the organ pipes. Take a quick view from the side over here of the church. We've got the RV that we parked over here. Nice view over here from the side of the church. They've refurbished it a few times. Mom was in there looking at a picture from the late 1800s where the picture, the church was still brown. They hadn't painted it white yet, which was interesting. I didn't know it had ever been anything but white. We are walking around the back. Nice. Over on the other side of the church here, there's a little, used to be a, where they put the mail and stuff when I was a kid. And I always heard that back when Grandma Snow was a kid, growing up here in Pine Valley, they used that, that as a school, that little building right over there. Not very big, but that's what I was told. I don't know. We are coming around the other side of the chapel. They used to have full-time missionaries here. They no 